Good morning and welcome to another Fast Tracks webinar. This is a weekly event we do every Friday at 9 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Eastern, where we go over various topics of the Fast Track software. You can see a list of these events if you go to our website, goftx.com, choose the FTX Lifeline button, scroll down just a bit on this page and look for the big webinar button, choose that. That will carry you to the webinar page where you can sign up for the newsletter to be notified of upcoming Fast Tracks news and upcoming webinars, as well as see all of our previous webinars, view the previous recordings by choosing that view recording button, or sign up for the new webinars to be reminded when they're going to be live by choosing the register now button. Today we're going to be going over a newer feature that was added in Director in this most recent update at the end of October called Item Tags. I've already got Director opened here, and I'm going to go to our price book module. And this really goes along with keeping a nice, clean, tidy price book. So for managing and having a clean price book, I'd recommend you watch that webinar. Um, that was a previous webinar done where we go over item management and the benefits and why you would need to make sure you have good tree information, tree information being your primary and secondary fields. Most commonly, you'll see items generally go down to maybe product group or subgroup, but you can go further if you want to. This is just a way to classify items to a hierarchy where they can be grouped together and easily filtered for reports, for price changes, cost changes, any kind of item management. Just seeing that real quickly, if we look at this item here, we can see that it's a got a major category of SIG full price, a category of full price pack, manufacturer of ITG brands, and a product group of Winston. The reason I want to have this clean in, in place is if I want to change prices, I really wouldn't want to do this one item at a time, item by item. I'd want to go to mass updates and then filter based on that categorization. So SIG full price, then I go to my full price pack, ITG, Winston, and then there's all the items that are associated with that same same, uh, in this case, product group. I can quickly change all their prices. I can run reports against all these items. Well, I'm going to choose individual UPCs. It's just the, the clean way to do price book management. Now, in this past update, we added in something called item tags. And we can see here that I've got Winston, Cigarette, and Pack. Now, these are going to be a bit different than your regular categorizations. The best way to think of this is think of it as having multiple major categories. It's not based on like a hierarchy. It's just simply a tag. So if I pull up, I've only got this item with this, these tags in place, but if I pull up um, items that are in the Winston tag group or the cigarette tag group or the pack tag group, then I'm going to see that item. And notice it's three of them in that one group. Now how you can quickly filter based on item tags and mass updates is when you go to the filters area, you can choose the drop down, and at the very bottom there's going to be tags. Then it's going to show what tags are available to filter by. So no matter which way I go, I'm going to see that one item when I filter by tag. It's going to refresh that, there's the same item. Winston, refresh that, same item. So this is really a good way to Group in just a basic term, have multiple major categories tagged to an item. It's not hierarchical, hierarchical uh, based, it's just simply a tag. So you can have packs, you can have cartons, all, all your standard tree information, but all based on one level. The benefit of that would be let's say that you're going to make. Um, you want to run an item sales report based on all of your uh, specific type of cigarette packs. You can tag all those packs uh, the same name and then it's, uh, be able to run that report and it would function really just like a report group would, except you don't have the limit. Report group being those custom report group fields that you have a total of four of. You can have unlimited number of tags. So let's take a look at how we can tag an item. I'm going to go, going to, go to the parent item of this. 
there's the carton. I'm going to go to my tags here, and it's not tagged yet. Now, I can quickly see what tags are available. So I'm going to tag this as cigarette, Winston, and this is not a pack, so I'm going to have to create a new tag. So I'm going to call this carton and tag that. And then I can simply save that. Now let's take a look at how this shows up in mass updates whenever I filter by that. So I'll go to mass updates here. I first need to refresh this module because I just added a new tag group. So I'm going to go to price book, refresh that entire module. That'll load the new tag that I just created. Go to mass updates, filters, my tags, and then there's the new carton group I created. So if I filter based on carton now, I would see that one new item. When I go to cigarette, there's my Winston pack. So tags really allow you to add that extra level of cleanliness to your price book. So let's look at how running a report against item tags. Whenever I go to my reports, and I go to my sales reports, and I go to item sales report, currently this is the only report that has this availability, but I can filter by tags. And then I can choose what tag I want to run the report on. I'm going to choose yesterday, run a report on that, and then it lets you run reports based on item tags. Now, as time goes along, there's going to be more of the tag filter added to items. Um, in the cloud point of sale system, uh, one of our other products, uh, tags has been there for a while. So um, pretty much all the reports have an option to run against tags there. All right, so going back to my price book, whenever I go to my item with the tag, there's also this online categories field. Now tags and the online category field, there's an upcoming product uh, for e-commerce that, that we're working on that will utilize both item tags, so it's good to go ahead and get the tags done, and then the online categorizations. This will be how your items really show up on a website. And it's going to function when adding and managing the same way as tags would. You would, add, you would add items to specific online categories, and then it's kind of like, a, at that point, a tree for your online web portal. But there'll be more information that comes along as that product develops and gets released, as well as a webinar going over all of its details. All right. Well, I thank you for your time. I hope everybody learned something new today. Once again, you can see a list of all of our webinars if you go to our website, goftx.com, choose the FTX Lifeline tab at the top of the page, scroll down just a bit and look for that webinar button, and that will show you the link to the newsletter where you can sign up to be notified about upcoming Fast Tracks news and webinars, view all of our previous webinars by viewing the view recording button, and sign up for new webinars by choosing the register button. If you have any questions on this topic, let us know at web support at fasttracksbos.com. And if you have any suggestions for future webinar topics, let us know at info at gofdx.com. Thank you and have a great weekend.